Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Are you having a good time? Are you having a fun time? Perhaps one of those dang old, old fashioned, new fangled, good fun times. I am of course Hard Leg Joe, if in you didn't know. For those watching on YouTube, hopefully the sound isn't still, still muted. I decided for Memento, because they're based off old archetypes, I would play older music. The oldest playlist I have is like the best of the 70s. My best of the 70s, which is admittedly, you know, my knowledge isn't great of it, but then still. The problem is a lot of those old 70s bands that are very popular, they're also super stringent about copyright. Thank you very much, Angel Crab, to pay for half your dinner. Well, well, thank you. I, <laughs> I, I guess I should mention. Well, real quick. Okay. So first of all, let me just say, if you're watching on YouTube, today's weather. We we played uh, two Kansas songs. We did "Carry On, My Wayward Son," and "Point of No Return." And uh, yes, you may have noticed we have a little thing down here. I, I couldn't decide what I wanted to eat for dinner, and I also had a late lunch. So I'm like, usually late... The last month or so, I've been trying to eat dinner before stream begins. Because prior to that, I was eating it after that, at like 10 o'clock at night, and it was much harder to go to sleep any time before like 5 in the morning. Um, but I woke up a little late today. I had a bit of a late lunch because I was getting things organized So I've not had dinner yet, and I thought we'd have we'd have like a little way to uh, interact with the audience or whatever We're gonna spend the first segment of stream. I don't know maybe an hour or so Looking up memento deck profiles and trying to learn the deck So I was like y'all can decide what I have for dinner and how much I have to spend on dinner so I don't think dinner will cost $50. I'm gonna get it delivered by DoorDash, so it'll probably cost at least like $20 or whatever. But how what, how big of a dinner I can get and what I get depends on how much you donate by the time we finish the, uh, the memento section. So, you know, if, if you want me to have a fancier dinner, consider dropping a dollar or two. Or if you want me to give a bigger tip, or whatever. <laughs> 30 sounds good for DoorDash. Yeah, it depends what we get. It's, I think it was like, if I was, if it was just 20, then I was just gonna like, get McDonald's or something delivered. If we can get up to 30, maybe get something a little fancier, maybe go five guys. Or if we get even higher, I could maybe get the, some IHOP delivered. Get some, uh, some late night French toast and hash browns and bacon. I vote for a mountain of pizza. <laughs> I could get pizza too. Pizza is also on the, you know, a potential. We'll, we'll actually, uh, once I decide to get dinner, we'll have a poll. So if you can't donate to, to add to the pizza, or to, to add to the dinner fund, you could still have a voice in deciding what I eat. French toast. I love French toast. America. Yeah, I'm most likely gonna get a hamburger. It's pretty much between hamburger, chicken, pizza, or breakfast for dinner. Have some Mentos, the fresh maker. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no steakhouses around here. That would be neat to be like, if I could get to a hundred dollars, I'll buy a fancy steak. <laughs> it's always weird because I feel like um, I feel kind of like I'm begging for for food or whatever. But it's like, if no one donated to this, I would just like make up a, a sandwich. I'd make some toast. It wouldn't be exciting, but it would get the job done. This is more just to make like, you know, if I'm gonna sit here on camera and potentially eat dinner, you might as well have a say in the matter. Hundred dollar lobster. I don't like seafood. No lobster. Oh, there's a new gate added to solo mode. Naturia? Neat. It's not begging it. It's, it's like, basically I'm just incorporating my dinner into the stream. 
Making it more interesting. That's the way I look at it. Because you don't have to donate to do anything. But if you want to donate, I can get fancier stuff. Pretend the lobster is a steak. Naturia, an actually relevant solo mode. Uh, it depends. I still haven't tried the tactical try duels. Maybe I should. Do they get you anything? Oh, you get the loner deck? You get two loner deck? No, oh, clear rewards. Okay, get an icon. Okay, so you just get an icon for each one. They're not traditional solo stages. Uh, okay. Oh, I can't see the loner. Why Leo Drake? He's like the least, the least important one. They went all in on the Leo Drake. Oh, hey. Beat. You want fucking beat root? 200 free gems. I mean, I do like gems. Yeah, we could maybe, but I guess we'll do that while, I, while I'm eating. You want ingredients? Leo, do you own an air fryer? <laughs> uh, also, Freddy set go. Thank you for the two gifted subs. I almost forgot about that. And if you didn't get one, chat, you gotta type evaded. I don't make the rules, that's just what you have to do. And yeah, to start out, we're gonna be we're gonna be learning how to play Memento, kind of. I mean I already did a let's learn on Memento. I feel like I understand what the cards are and what they do well enough to understand a deck profile. So we're gonna look up some deck profiles. We're gonna be watching over those, seeing uh what interesting insights they have, and trying to formulate a list on that. I'm not going to bother testing it on Omega. I have enough gems to buy whatever. And I feel like the lists aren't going to be like that unique or different or anything. Master Evader, yeah. So we're going to do that. And if you've never been to one of these uh, learning streams before, especially if you've not watched them on YouTube, I don't like to re-upload myself like watching other people's videos. I feel like that's not really fair to those, even if my uh, VODs don't get a ton of views. It's still just re-uploading other people's content with like minimal reactions oftentimes. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, we're just gonna skip past all that. But if you're here, if you're here on uh, Twitch, then you get to watch it, get to watch it live. Oh, speaking of which, I, I'm not sure if anyone saw it on uh, Twitter. But I did get something. If we're going full memento, we're gonna take them to the bone zone, baby. Ha cha 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 cha. The problem is I I can't read with this on. I need uh I need my glasses. <laughs> The glasses don't work as well. Looks like French Toast has won the poll, by the way. The bones! The spirit of jazz. Momental in leg. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. It's still cool with the glasses. I mean, not nearly as cool as it is without them. Oh, God. Oh, no. I dropped my glasses and I can't see where they- I've become Velma, no! I, I think I see it. This is a nightmare! True nightmare! Jinkies. Zoinks. Yeah, I wonder if I can- Raw 
Zoro. Like Zoinks, man, that's totally wild. Let's get the hell out of here, Scoob. We not want to use Valor or Inperm? I mean, we could just use... That works. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the best way to do it. Where did Joe go? Yeah, I didn't think this would work with the glasses underneath because it just kind of flattens it out. But it makes it look more, like, stiff. It's It's got a neat thing going for it. Bone Leg Joe. Is it Bone Leg Joe? Hard Bone? Is this stuff already rubbing off? Stupid cheap plastic. You made me look bad. Yeah, we'll see. I probably won't, uh, I won't rate the, the whole thing. Hard bone. <laughs> Hard bone Joe. Hard leg bone. <laughs> bone leg. Bone, bone, bone. <laughs> Discount Bone Warehouse. Ready for some beta testing? Possibly. Okay. So give me a second, chat. I'm going to order some, um, some DoorDash real quick. We're going to get, we're going to get ourselves some French toast. Exciting. I hop, you hop, we all hop. Order that French toast. Thick and fluffy. A classic. Do I get a do I get a drink with it, chat? Do I get like a hot chocolate? It's an extra $5 just for hot chocolate. I don't think that's worth it. Oreo milkshake. It does look good. Do 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 no omelets, no pancakes, no savory crepes. Um I will get a side of hash browns. Crispy. What do you think? Should I get an order of bacon too, chat? Do I dare? I did have a whole pack of bacon for lunch, so I probably shouldn't. But it is delicious. <laughs> uh, how much are the milkshakes? Milkshakes are $9. That's an expensive milkshake. Too bacon, too furious. That just sounds like breakfast, yes. That is the eternal problem of bacon. It's so good. You get a whole cow for that. Yeah, I'm already... What's, the, what's it costing just to get... Just to get the French toast and the hash browns, we're looking at $21.94. So $22. We have more. 
I do love some steak and eggs. That milkshake must taste. Do we do we do it just to rate the milkshake since uh, you gave like forty dollars? It is hot out. They will have to deliver it in the heat. We might get it somewhat melted. Milkshake review. Yes, please. All right, we'll add it on. That brings us to $31. And then we'll have to leave a tip, so... Probably no bacon. I've had enough bacon. It's fine. If I'm hungry, I got stuff to eat here. All right, let's do it. We're getting the thick and fluffy classic French toast with extra crispy hash browns and a chocolate shake. They have cold storage backpack, right? I don't know. What do you think I am? Some kind of expert on this? Okay, this will be here in 15 to 25 minutes. Wait, what the hell? $48? Where's that, all that extra money coming from? Oh, it's the $3 delivery fee. Why is the meal itself like $20? Because <laughs> we're getting it from IHOP, which is like higher... Um, priced yeah the delivery fee is three dollars and then they have fees and estimated tax which is another seven dollars and then the recommended tip is six dollars so you add that all together and it becomes forty eight dollars somehow we went over but you know what it's fine you y'all you don't you, we got some gift subs and stuff I'll give them an extra tip. Oh, and there's Skippy Goober coming in with eight. That, okay, well, there you go. All right, well, there we go. We're going to go ahead and order it then. It ended up being, I put $50 thinking it would be way too high. But it ended up being just the right amount. Is IHOP even that good? They're really good if you want to like, if you want something to, um, like a, a sit down restaurant to get some food. You want to sit down and get some breakfast? I'd recommend it. Although, I don't know, it was like $15 for French toast. This better be damn good French toast, I tell you what. Domino's seems cheaper than IHOP. Yes, it would. Pizza would have been cheaper. We had that vote, and pretty much, at, like, even if I had gotten the expensive burger at, um, at Five Guys, it probably would have been cheaper. But that's fine. I, you know, streamer luck. Is that just telling me that they're going to send it? IHOP has confirmed. Okay. Oh, in one second. Someone messed up. So many things today. Awesome. I'm streaming at the moment, but I'll get you the details when I'm done. Probably make French toast, yeah. By the way, I should probably go turn on the li outside light just so they can find the place. Ugh. Ugh. They chose the French toast, yep. It's unfortunate that uh, Waffle House doesn't, doesn't do DoorDash stuff. Don't let the moths in, I'll try. 
Looks like Doofus Goobus is following your thing. Well, they're not. Uh, that's the thing is his video. Like he's made the um, he made that whole Confederate video, making fun of the the Confederacy. I don't think he's like trying to make specifically political content. I think he just makes jokes, and he just some of his jokes are perceived as political. Okay. As for the Memento deck, I guess we just go with this for now. It's not very spicy, but it works. And then we just put in like, let's see, these are all dark monsters. No, that's light. Okay, most of them are dark. Dark Charmer. Celine. Um, let's put... Underworld Goddess. Are you gonna pull? Oh, I'm still gonna open packs. I've got the, I spent the time on the gems. I'm just starting to wonder, cause on the last ladder climb, we didn't include pretty much any of the pulls. And I'm wondering if we don't include the pulls, do I even need to, um, do I need to have an introduction? Usually I do a stream that I call, what was it? So the, um, I'm sure most of you have seen the ladder climb at this point. It's six streams, right? And usually I have what I call a day zero stream or stream zero where it's, building and testing the deck and originally that was more part of the process of it and slowly that's being removed because people just like having more duels and so i wonder maybe with this one if i should just cut out the middleman and not even have like a day zero just come and be like and here we are on the first day of dueling ready to begin with memento I've already, I just opened the packs off screen, I got all the cards and everything, and here we go. Yeah, like that would probably help cut down everything, and then we don't have two introductions. Hello, it's me, hello, Space Psycat. If you missed the pack pulls, I encourage you to join me on Twitch, yeah. I love all your videos on Master Duel. Well, thank you, Mordorak the Orc. Tip hat. Yeah, so I guess, okay. I guess we're just going to open the packs off camera, essentially. We'll just have a casual pack pulling thing, and then the next episode we'll just jump into it. And um, if someone asks about it, or if people complain or whatever, we can, we can uh, go back, but... Yeah, we'll just streamline, make the episode slightly shorter, and start on the first day. The opening is the best thing. Well, I'm glad you're here to watch it then. And then we just mark down how many packs we, we cost. So, 1,000 so far. Give them a link to Raw Hardleg. And that's if somehow you don't know, if you miss the stream or whatever, I do have a stream archive channel. Huh. Well, we didn't get the twin-headed memento dragon, but we did get the twin-headed thunder dragon. So there's that. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna get the other combined creation. No, it's a sarcophagus. We already have three of those. Another gap. Shiny Polly. I just came here out of curiosity. Do you do anything special when you ladder climb or just trying to play the picked deck? Oh, uh, it depends on the deck. Um, and base, what was it? It's not just what deck I'm playing, but how the previous week went. So like, last month we played Volcanics, right? And Volcanics have synergy with Snake Eyes. I know Snake Eyes can get to Master 1, so Volcanic Snake Eyes would probably be able to get to Master 1 if we started with that. And I played Snake Eyes a couple months ago, so I didn't really want to do that again. So rather than making the best Volcanic deck and trying to go hard from the very beginning, uh, I made more goofy versions of it. And we ended up trying out like a 60 card Grass variant, we tried making like pure volcanics. We tried to make uh, Horus volcanic. But this month, because we already did the Horus stuff last month, um, I don't really feel like, what was it? Memento is already gonna be a difficult climb because it's not the best deck, but it does have the potential to reach master one. And I think a lot of people are curious what it takes to do it. So I think it's better this month to try to go in as hard as possible with a good deck. Maybe experiment a little bit with what they can do by showing some of their tech cards. But I'm not really interested in playing like Horus Memento. Because I think that's worse than pure Memento. And I think we already showed off the Horus engine last time. You had a volcanic run? Yes. The volcanic episode comes out tomorrow, by the way. It'll be up on the YouTube channel. The one with the volcanic shells? Yeah, that's the one I'm using. Oh, hey. Gold Pride has a cool aesthetic. Yeah, we played that one. What are we pulling this month? Memento. When the moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie, that's Memento. Banish all monsters you control, draw three cards. You can't summon the turn you activate this card. Would you ever play 60 card Paleo? Yes. That was what I suggested this month. Hey, we got a bone party. I try to stay out of the um, the the deck suggestions and leave it up to the patrons. Because I don't want this to be... There's, there's a lot of people where... Uh, and companies will do this too. Where they'll be like, you can choose what happens. The viewers vote. And then they'll either like push really hard on one thing. Or... They'll basically just, like, rig it so that, like, what they were going to do anyway is what they'll do. Like, they, they just had something in mind, and they're going to play that regardless. And then they have the vote. And then just be like, oh, this one was the most popular. Trust us, bro. Code of the soul. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to be that. So I try not to interact too much with the, the, the deck suggestion. But I saw Joshua Smith playing a really cool Paleo build that played, um, it was like a slower control deck, but it could uh, hold its own against Snake Eyes if it got a good hand. And it had like transaction rollback to do a whole bunch of goofy shit. And I was like, go ahead and try, I'd like to try that one if anyone wants to suggest it. And someone did, but it didn't win. You didn't like Sue Ship? Yeah. To be fair, Sue Ship and Memento were like tied, and I was like, I, I don't really like Sue Ship, but I will play it if it wins. I don't think it'll work, but we got it. Okay, this is 2K gems.
Aminal Kangle. Suship would have been miserable. Yeah. What about Nouvelles? What about it? I played Nouvelles. If Suship won, we would have ended in silver. I, I have a feeling we cut, probably could have scraped into Master 5 with Suship, but we would have been playing like a bunch of floodgates and stuff. It wouldn't have been all that exciting. Can I get a better deck? No. Yeah. That's the that's the thing about YouTube, right? The, the thing to consider, right? Is that I am playing this for a YouTube audience. Um, so it doesn't necessarily... The deck doesn't necessarily have to be great as long as it's interesting. The reason why I wasn't interested in Suship is because it's bad... And it's kind of boring. Like, it's just a rank 4 deck. You're just, you're just putting two level 4s on the field, and you're making level 4s. And there's nothing that Suship does, like, with the rank 4s that's unique. Like, um... Teller Knights and Constellers, they recently got some new support. Where, um... They can do a whole bunch of stuff. I believe they have an FTK, even. And yeah, they're an Ixie deck, which means they're inherently just putting two level fours on the field. But from those two level fours, they can then do like a longer combo that involves getting like three more Ixies on the field. Actually, Suship has a rank five. I know that they make with two level fours they put on the field. My IHOP food is on the way. I think your tier climb has the least views. Correct. What was your least favorite ladder climb, including both your experience and the YouTube success? That's hard to say. I'd have to look back at them because I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. Hey, we got a Dark Blade. I forget what we're trying to get. I've been distracted by so many discussions. I saw someone get pure Luna Light. I'm curious to see what it says, but... So here's, here's the thing about, um... Because I see people get, like, another sarcophagus. I oftentimes see people like, Oh, I got X archetype to master. And it's like, One, I feel like you could probably get almost anything to... What was it? In order to get to master, all you have to do is have, like, a 51% win rate and time. Uh, if you play a lot more than I play, and especially if you play late at night when they're, the competition's not as fierce, it's not too difficult to get something like Numeron or whatever up into... Or in the case of Luna... Like, Luna Light is a, an OTK, like, go second deck. Blind second decks, you can get them up there. You just gotta play more than I have time for. But also, there's a lot of people who will, like... Build a Snake Eye deck, grind up to Master 2, and then switch over to some other deck and just get like one or two wins uh, so they can say that they got X deck to Master 1, right? The new Horus cards, do they work with the Black Flame Dragon? I don't think so. They cheat. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to be like they're cheating because it, you know there's no like official thing or whatever. But it doesn't. It doesn't uh, get across the idea of what they're actually doing. It feels disingenuous. Either that, or you'll get. And this this doesn't happen as much these days because generic engines aren't as as popular. But you'll you'll see someone where like. Uh, it used to be a thing where you would build basically a, uh, what's it called? An Orcist Phantom Knight deck. And then you'll put like three or four, um, whatchamacallit, not three or four, but they, what was it? Orcist Phantom Knight was a deck where you could play like three Garnets and a bunch of extra deck monsters 
and basically all you needed to do was get two monsters on the field to make like Nightmare Cerberus and then you would convert Cerberus into Mermaid, Mermaid summons an Orcus from the deck, that would summon another card from the deck, that would let you link up, the link lets you get another Orcus card out of the deck, that makes the Phantom Knight uh, Rusty Bardish, that gets Phantom Knights out of the deck. And so they would play like a deck that had like a whole bunch of um, Morphtronics that Special summoned. And they would just use the Morphtronics to do Orcus combos and be like, Check out my meta, -val my meta relevant Morphtronic deck. Your gold pride run motivated me to do a punk pride as well. Fortunately, cut the pride stuff while I was at the end, but still... Joe would never make a video manipulating Duel so he could go on a winning streak. <laughs> Voiceless Voice, Melodious, Ubel, Aramage, Madolce. Yeah, those all seem like good options with the new support and everything. I'd be up for playing those. Good evening. How's it going? Pretty good. Waiting on the food to arrive. Okay, so we need... Two Anguish and two Dark Blade and a combined creation. Let's open. We've done 2,000 gems. Let's do 2,000 more, and then if that doesn't work, we'll just craft everything. Ooh. Fancy. But yeah, so long story short, anytime someone brings up, like, this this rogue deck made it to Master. It's this combination of, like, getting to Master is not as hard as it seems as long as you're persistent and you have the time. And some people do, like, a cheat for lack of a better word. I'm curious to see if there's anyone who has, like, gotten to Master on stream with X deck playing roughly the same amount, like... Playing like 150 duels. I'm SETI. That's roughly about how many I usually get in my... I play 24 hours total. Oh, another one, and it's shiny. But we don't care about the shiny, we only care about royal. I got to master with generator, yeah. I mean, I got to master one with Generator. Spoilers for the Generator Ladder Climb. That deck is underrated. Is very strong. Shiny. How many more Royals until the Royal collab? Quite a few. Hey, there we go. We got our combined creation. Someone actually did Dino Morphia generators. Yeah. You can find almost anything on Master Duel meta. I don't know how they um what you call it. I don't know how they vet their their like what's their process for determining like this deck got to master. Cuz it's user submitted, right? It's just a screenshot. Cash Tira generators, interesting. What's the synergy with Cash Tiras? All right, well we got the combined creation. Let's try one more and see if we can get Anguiches and stuff. Be four thousand gems on this.
subscribe. Thank you, Night C three two two eight months of Steel Leg Joe. I appreciate it. Master Duel Meadow will review submissions that are questions. Horsey. Yeah, I think we already had three of the horsey. He did that too. Did I? I didn't think Cash Tiro were out when I played Generator. Man, if I wanted to build the um, Salamangrate deck, this would be great. You might even call it Salamangrate. <laughs> I'm sorry to the innocent person in chat. Someone was like, well, you know, with Master Duel Meta, they could just climb to the top with Snake Eyes and then switch to a different deck for the last duel to say they got there. And he's like, well, why would someone do that? It just reminds me of that Ar Arthur. Like, do you really think someone would just go on the internet and lie? What's the point of that? Reddit karma. Yeah, that was the, the thing that, what was it? I used to be a little bit more naive about it, but I, the thing that I'll never forget, I made a Duel Links video where I was like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! player tries out Duel Links, doesn't like it. Uh, obviously, it was meant to be a little, like, rage baity uh, to, to get people to watch, but the actual video, I'm like, okay, so first of all, it's not that bad. I was like, it's different. And then someone posted it, like, they linked the video on Reddit because it got a whole bunch of... I got a... Oh, oh thanks. Fine. Okay, well, I guess I got to do one more. We'll do 5,000 gems. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of, like, views that I wasn't expecting. And then a whole bunch of angry comments from people who clearly didn't watch the video. And then I found out someone just, like, posted the link on Reddit and then just said that, like... Like, oh, this guy hates it. He says it's awful. He says the people who play it are stupid. I forget exactly the words, but they basically just, like, lied and said stuff that, like, I didn't say. Like, I was specifically like, I don't think anyone's bad for playing it, but it's not for me. And then I just, like, went to the comments and I'm like, I didn't say any of this. Why are you lying? And they're like, for Reddit karma. <laughs> Like, they just responded with, like, a lol Reddit karma. What do you think? I'm trying to be popular here. Do you have the video? I'd want to watch that. It's old. I'm sure you could find it if you just type in hard leg duel links. Might build Altergeist. Seems like an interesting deck. Yeah, like, I, I understood people lying to get, like, fame and fortune. Uh, I understood people, like, grifting to make, like, a career out of it or whatever. But it wasn't until that time that I realized, like, yeah, people will just, like, straight up make up lies and send people off to do stuff to get, like, fake points in a niche online community. Not a lot of people, but uh, you don't need many. I'm curious now, looking back on that video, if it would be as um, cringe as before. Yeah, that definitely wasn't worth it. They tricked me. You, you, yeah. It's a good thumbnail. We can watch that while I eat. We can hard leg reviews his old videos. Maybe I was meaner than I thought.
Uh, okay. So we. Oh wait, I do. Joel and Locke. Very nice. One U R and no S R S. Yeah. They're like, oh, you get a free U R if you go one more. I'm like, fine, I'll see what I can get, and then proceeded to get exactly the bare minimum and no less. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh, Mirage Stalia looks kind of cool. Uh, you were never being used. I don't need four of these. Target three fires. Special summon, but the rest, if you control fire. I guess I'll keep three of those. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That, don't need that. Um, I'll take that overload fusion. I mean, I could if I want. Um, does she look particularly good, shiny? I don't feel like it. I'm not feeling it. I kind of like her background. Like, this makes sense because it's like all fiery and it's like metal or whatever. So when it actually goes over the shine effect on the art, like it looks like it's glowing and that's kind of cool. Like I'll keep a Mirage Stalio. But with her, it's just sort of like, yeah, I guess her arms look kind of neat, but like the contrast between her and the background doesn't really do it. I'm not concerned with flexing. I only keep the royal rares because I want to, um, whatchamacallit. I want to do the, the ro all royal challenge. I don't think you'd ever need more than one mirage. Oh, should I get rid of the other one too? If you run salad, you just need the one. Oh, okay. Well, there's a salamangrade uh, structure too, right? So I don't even... Yeah, not that it matters. None of this matters. Okay. Generate a witch. Basic finish. Generate a witch. Basic finish. Generate a dark blade. Non-foil. Nothing shiny, but we got ourselves a deck. Okay, so my food's about to arrive. In fact, it looks like they're right outside the house. So I'm going to go get my food chat. We'll watch one of my old videos. We'll do a hard leg reacts while I eat my French toast. And we can judge how good this shake is. And uh, then we'll, we'll duel. We'll end off the stream with some duels. Testing out the memento to see how they work. Oh, Jesse J plays. Thank you for the party of 12. I'm about to grab dinner. One second, I'll be right back. All right, chat. Time, time to do the, the IHOP DoorDash review. Pretty big. Oh, I forgot to put my hat back on. I'm not hard leg without it. I'm just hatless Joe Johnson. Running around without a hat on. Okay. Oh. So let's see. What the hell is this? They gave me fork and knives, lots of them. Wow, that's a lot of syrup. Is that one, two, three, 
four. Yeah, four big old things of syrup. Let's go ahead and make me bigger. And and just like a handful of butter. So much butter. Discount butter warehouse. As for the actual food, we got, ooh. Now that is some fancy ass looking, um, that's, that's some big thick Texas toast for the, um, the French toast. And not only did they, they give me hash browns, I got, I got free bacon too. I didn't order bacon. I was thinking about it, but they just threw some extra bacon in there. Well, thanks. Bonus bacon. And also, let's see, classic French toast, crispy hash browns, one chocolate shake. Um, there's, there's a Belgian waffle in here. I don't, uh, you know, they, they gave me two things, two extra things that I didn't order. I mean, I'm not angry. I like bacon and I like Belgian waffles. It's just weird. Now that being said, if you remember, there was a lot of discussion beforehand about whether or not I should get a shake. Because the shakes, uh, I'm not sure if this is always the price for IHOP or just the DoorDash, but it was $9 for a shake. This is the size of the shake. And it's, it's completely melted. It's like entirely liquid. It's absolutely tiny. I feel, you know, if, if they hadn't given me the bonus stuff, I'd be like, really? I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Maybe if it solidifies up a little bit, it'll be good. But the shake in the summertime through DoorDash, highway robbery, zero out of tens, reviews in shambles. It was still mildly cold, but clearly they didn't have any kind of way to keep it like temperature locked. Maybe I should have known better. But yeah, you know, we live and learn. I'll try it later and we'll get the review. Who knows? Maybe it's the most delicious shake we've ever seen. Maybe it's worth it, $9, just for that tiny amount. I can't imagine. But yeah, for now I'm going to eat this, and while I'm eating this, we're going to watch a little video. Not that. There we go. It's a video from a small time creator. Maybe you've heard of him. His name is Hardleg Gaming. This is from five years ago. Shit. 16,000 views. That was a lot for the time. So I tried Duel Links for the first time. I didn't like it. I heard he was an asshole. It was before COVID, yeah. This was, I believe, a, like within a, a month or two of Duel Links being released. Because at the time, all they really had was like stuff from the first season. There were like no fusions or anything. Hey, what's up, guys? Hard Leg Joe here. This was before I had my face reveal. When I was just a voice. And I was trying to get this whole, like, idea of me, like, popping up, like, hey, hey what's up, guys? 
you know, hey, what's up, guys? Except I didn't put it on a black background. I have the same old, the old hard leg logo. I've got it cropped so it looks a little thinner. And then another one just hey, pops up. Hey, what's up, guys? Hard you were just a letter. Another thing that, like, it always bothered me about, to me, this logo was clearly H and then an L stuck onto it. It's two letters. But a lot of people just saw this as a funny-looking H. I guess I don't blame them. Maybe it should have been more to the side or whatever, but... Third leg Joe here. So recently, after much prodding by fellow Yu-Gi-Tuber and low-tier troll The Duel Logs, I decided to finally try out Duel Links for the first time. I see nothing's changed with Duel Logs. Fellow Yu-Gi-Tuber and low-tier troll. Yeah, that describes the duel. <laughs> you had beef? I, had, I wasn't beef. Me and Duel Logs have been uh, good co workers. I wouldn't call us like friends because we haven't hung out outside of like recording stuff or like chatting about YouTube or whatever, but I consider us like, he, like we're both co workers at YouTube and we get along. If there's like an after, if there's like a after work party or whatever, me and Duel Logs are hanging out. Also, no music. And I figured since I had the... No music oh, whatsoever. The Duel Logs. I decided to finally try out Duel Links for the first time. And I figured since I had the footage and there's no What A Deck episode this weekend, I'd just make a short video giving my thoughts on it. Now, if you're somehow unfamiliar with Duel Links and its famously cringeworthy commercials, it's a stripped-down, free-to-play mobile version of Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is also available to play via Steam. It was notable when it first came out for offering a very old-school Yu-Gi-Oh! experience. It limited the card pool down to mostly older cards with simpler effects, and removed most of the admittedly confusing extra deck monsters. Uh, it was a design that appealed both to new players trying to learn the game for the first time, as well as veteran players who were frustrated with the speed and complexity of modern Yu-Gi-Oh. I am neither of those things. <laughs> as uh, long-time viewers of the channel will know, I actually enjoy the challenge of trying to keep up with the fast pace of modern Yu-Gi-Oh. So when Duel Links came out, I had no interest in it whatsoever, really. <laughs> and after playing it for several hours... I like the footage of, like, me, I like my Yu-Gi-Oh, like, fast and confusing. Footage of me playing Flower Cardians. <laughs> like, yeah, that's about as fast as confusing as it gets. <laughs> also, I think this was during Master Rule 4. We have the extra monster zones. I think you have to summon extra deck monsters there. Also, you can see if those of you who, who haven't have only watched me during the Master Duel times, you know, this is what we used beforehand. This is YGO Pro. You could put your own custom logo in the background. I never figured out how to center it right, so it was always kind of like off to the side. And trying it out, I think I can safely say I was completely right to have no interest in it. <laughs> You know, it's actually kind of funny. I went into this video thinking that I'd, I'd try to be pretty neutral. Like, I intended to come away with a thesis of, Oh, you know, Duel Links isn't bad. It's just not for me. Uh, but the more I thought about it, and the more I put my thoughts down on paper, the more I realized that Duel Links is just kind of objectively bad. <laughs> like, even if I wanted an old-school Yu-Gi-Oh! feel, Duel Links doesn't really actually offer that. It's made a lot of strange design decisions that, for the most part, just make the game worse. Uh, for example, in Duel Links, they decided to lower the starting life points from 8,000 down to 4,000. Now, this seems like a logical choice when you first hear about it. After all, they have a simplified card pool with significantly less swarming, so you'd think it'd be harder to put damage on board. Plus, it's a mobile game. They, they clearly wanted the duels to go a little bit faster so that people can play on the go. The problem is, they reduced the player's life points 
without reducing the attack of any of the monsters. Like, there's a level 4 normal monster with 1900 attack. Like, that, that's almost half your life points on one card that you can just normal summon. Uh, for reference, compare that to actual old school Yu-Gi-Oh, where one of the strongest monsters you could summon for years was Blue Eyes White Dragon. 3000 attack, but it took two tributes or an outside card effect to summon, and even then it's not equivalent to half your life points. My point is, this change means the game doesn't actually play like old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Just like the modern game, many duels can end in two or three turns, especially if one side or the other bricks. Uh, the only difference is that in Duel Links, those turns are usually far less interesting. <laughs> this is because, A, there are less cards on the field since both the monster and spell trap zones have been reduced from 5 to 3. Uh, B, the starting hand has been reduced from 5 cards to 4 cards, so you have less options for plays in general. C, there is no main phase 2, meaning after you attack, your turn's pretty much over. There's no recovering from the battle phase. And D, the minimum deck size has been reduced from 40 cards to just 20. Now that last point is the most disappointing to me, and, and it wouldn't be so bad, except for whatever reason, the maximum copies you can have of any one card is still 3. Just like with the life points, this seems innocent enough at first, but when you look at the numbers in depth, you realize it's kind of just bad game design. <laughs> to see what I mean, let's look at a standard Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You have a 40 card deck minimum with three copies of each card max. That means if you try to play as consistently as possible, you need to have at least 14 unique cards in your deck. And this ratio is roughly the same across most of the other major trading card games. Hearthstone has a 30 card deck with two copies max, which means you have to have 15 unique cards. Uh, card Fight Vanguard is 50 card deck with 4 copies max, meaning 13 unique cards. And Magic the Gathering, as well as the Pokemon trading card game, give you a 60 card deck with 4 copies each. Which would give you 15 unique cards, but you also need lands and energies in those games, so maybe cut that back a bit. But regardless, even if they're most linear, most card games will have you playing 9 unique cards plus manas and energies. Duel Links, meanwhile, with its 20 card deck and 3 max copies, has you building decks of just 7 unique cards. Which is just so underwhelming and limited compared to every other card game. Yeah, that's, um... I'm not sure if that's, you know, I would agree. I Earlier I said this was objectively bad, and I don't think I agree necessarily with that. Um, anymore because obviously some people prefer to have a stripped down simplified game I kind of went into this with the the idea that uh, you know complexity and interaction are what make a game good and removing it is a bad idea but I've come to realize nowadays that some people just like really like slot machines like, there's a lot of people, um, like, gotcha games have proven that what a lot of people really, really want, what what they get most entertainment from is, like, a slot machine where you can make the barest minimum of choices. Where, like, if you can, if you can do one or two things that give you the veneer of making choices, they will gladly play a slot machine. They like to just have random stuff. They don't want it to be complicated. They don't want it to be hard. They don't want it to be uh, super, like, interactive where they're getting stressed or having to think about it. And then if you want that, then yeah, you got this. But it does point out that, like, if you what you want is a complex game of back-and-forth interactions, uh, Duel Links is inherently kind of limited. If you like deck building, uh, you, you know, the deck builds are even simple. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! already has a problem where you'll have a 40 card deck and 30 of those cards are going to be the same no matter how you play the deck. And then you're just looking at like two or three like tech slots and Duel Links like goes in even harder on that where you have like even less room.
Yeah, I don't think I even talked about the crafting system. How was the toast? The toast is really good. The toast, I would say, is like worth the $15. I'm not sure if it's worth like shipping it here with DoorDash and everything, but like if I was gonna sit down at a restaurant and order this for $15, I would say worth it. Overwhelming and limited compared to every other card game. And keep in mind, even with 14 unique cards in regular Yu-Gi-Oh, a lot of decks still end up feeling almost the same. Oh, I made that like point anyway. Two differences. In Duel Links, I, I, I mean, I'm not too familiar with the, the top meta decks, but I can't imagine there's that much variety at the top. Nope. I just, there's just not enough room with such small decks. All that being said... My complaints are only really bad if you enjoy a lot of complexity and diversity in your card games. Oh, I did uh, have that if you point. you want a really simple experience where you don't have to think a lot, and in, in some cases where you have a deck that literally plays itself, because <laughs> that is an option in Duel Links, then maybe it's the game for you. And you know, credit where credit is due, Duel Links does do a lot of things well. The UI is nicely built and intuitive, the monetization system, from what I can tell, is really nicely implemented, ha! allowing you to earn. The monetization. I mean, I guess compared to some gotcha games, it was, um... It was better than it could have been, but they absolutely went off the rails. To be fair, I remember when I played this originally, the UI was intuitive and easy to understand. And then I remember a couple years ago, like three years after I came back to, to Duel Links, because I was trying to teach my girlfriend how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, maybe we should start there. And me and her were both just completely overwhelmed by like, you know, we log on and they're like, Hey, you've got like they they added so many other different things and so many different um like currencies. They're like, "Oh, you got SR tickets, you got UR tickets, you got gold, you got gems, you got dust, you got <laughs> you got all these different things. You got to take this to the card trader and you could trade that in to get this and it just it bloated to hell. I couldn't make heads of tails of like what I needed to do or where I could go or how to spend. I didn't have an idea of how things transferred. It was just crazy. And you compare that to Master Duel where it's like, you have gems as a currency, and then I guess you have dust. Fairly simple. Earn everything in game, choosing basically between a reasonable amount of grind that you can partially automate by having your deck play itself, or investing a small amount of money to get card packs. <laughs> and if you're completely new to the game, it will teach you the basics of Yu-Gi-Oh! from the convenience of your phone. Uh, I'd also be remiss to mention the one unique bit of uh, complexity that Duel Links does add to the game, which is player skills. Uh, basically, there are several different characters you can play as, each with their own unlockable skills, that give them special abilities or advantages in the duel. For instance, one skill lets you start with 5,000 life points instead of 4,000. Another lets you start the duel with a specific field spell already on the field. Uh, and a few of them are actually really interesting. Like, there's one that says as long as your life points are over 3,000, you can see all your opponent's set cards, which I think is kind of neat. Most of them, though, are just consistency boosters. They say something along the lines of, if you lose X amount of life points this turn, you can take a specific card or type of card and either put it on top of your deck or add it to your hand or play it on the field. Which again, just seems sort of counter to the direction of the game. Like, modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is full of search cards. That's kind of what makes it so fast in the first place. So then you have Duel Links that removed most of the search cards, presumably to slow down the game, only to give you an ability that lets you search anyway? <laughs> and again, you're searching from a deck that's already tiny in the first place, which makes your duels even faster and even more linear than before. <sighs> I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to shit on this game too much, because it is a step in the right direction. Like, Duel Links has brought Yu-Gi-Oh! back into the public eye, and I've met several people on my Patreon who came to my channel 
because they got into Yu-Gi-Oh! through Duel Links, and they wanted to see what the real game is like. And I also love that Konami has made an actual official simulator with a solid monetization model. I really feel like that's the way to go moving forward, I just wish it was a simulator of the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! card game I'm familiar with, and instead of this weird, overly simplified Yu-Gi-Oh! with its legs cut off kind of thing. Regardless, as it is with all videos of this kind, this is just my opinion. If you like Duel Links, that's perfectly fine. Don't let me stop you from having fun. And to those of you out there who also don't like Duel Links, don't use this video as an excuse to mock people who do. Uh, maybe try to convince them to play the actual game, but if they just want to chill out on their phones and do AI duels, like, let, let them have their fun. There's no need to be mean about it. Anyway... Aw, oh, kind Joe. Did I have a sign out back then? Well, if you like this video, let me know what you thought in the comments. I don't usually do these kinds of discussion videos, but I figured I'd try to experiment, see how I'd do. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, maybe I can do it in the future. And uh, thanks to Duel Logs again for pushing me to do something uh, that I wouldn't have done otherwise, even if I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, either way, thanks for watching, and until next time, good luck and have fun. The same one. Yeah, the new icon showed up. Duel, uh, I told you you'd like Duel Links. You even liked it enough to make a video about it. The monetization model is a bit whack. Very recently, they put out a structure deck that you couldn't purchase with in-game currency. You had to buy it with real money. So that should let you know if you played Duel Links exactly when this video came out. The, the Silent Magician structure deck had just been released. This video was great. Interesting take, bud. What is this that I recommended on it? <laughs> what a deck replay! These days, this would be a short. If I started YouTube like five years later. My body is stupid, stereo putrid, pumping out music into all sewage. Reaching my threshold, staring at the truth of life. My threshold, my threshold, reaching my threshold. I'm hearing voices, animal noises, the crap of the crap. The lightning! Make your opponent fall asleep with flower guardians, yeah. I believe Boing was a patron, so... Oh, and they're doing this one, too. Yeah, so these were all, like, patron duels. Shape snatched. Boing again. Dr. TNT, I'm pretty sure that's a patron. <coughs> Pardon me! Just all, like duels I got while testing because when I actually played this uh, no one would stay in a game but yeah if you don't know I used to someone asked if I was a flower cardian gamer I used to play a different deck every week I had a show called what a deck
Started out weekly, and then it became bi-weekly, and then it became monthly. What a deck! Oh. Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're playing Cardian Slot Machine, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor... Frankly, I'm a person, which is kind of a strange name, but this is kind of a strange deck. If you're unfamiliar with flower cardians, they're based off of traditional Japanese cards called Hanafuda, which are basically like poker playing cards in the West. You can play a whole bunch of different card games with them, uh, most of which are entirely luck-based, which is why this is a slot machine deck. And to go with the visual theme of cards, you have mountains of text, that basically make these play like an entirely different card game. You're essentially playing solitaire with yourself, which can make them utterly baffling to someone who doesn't know how they work. Uh, this is why Frankly requested them. He specifically wanted a deck that would confuse and troll the opponent, <laughs> one that would hopefully get a lot of surrenders from people who just didn't want to deal with the deck. <laughs> Likewise, that's why I chose to play this. Uh, while I don't particularly like the deck's play style, I felt like it would be good to play them just to teach people how they worked. Uh, hopefully after this you'll know the deck well enough to play it yourself if you want, or at the very least counter it if you find yourself facing against it. Uh, now with that in mind, I should note that this is a very standard, very basic Cardian build with no cheesy tricks or techs. Uh, there are some OTK builds that can do some crazy stuff with like Desynchro and Bamboo Swords, but I wanted to keep things simple just so I could teach people how Cardians in general work. Uh, plus, this deck is already luck-based enough for my taste without throwing in a whole bunch of potential bricky cards. But anyway, if you just want the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video. There, I'll go over everything and explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some of the combos, and hopefully, we'll get lucky. Oh, we'll get lucky. Okay, I changed it. Testing this out, showing you how it works, and hopefully, have a little fun. Any advice to anyone wanting to start Yugi tubing? Uh, I don't know at this point. <laughs> it's hard. YouTube's weird. I had advice like years ago for like what to do, and now I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one more thing. I'm curious if this is um, what era of the deck profiles this was in. Hey, what's up guys? Hardleg Joe here coming at you with the What a Deck profile for episode 158, Cardian Slot Machine, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Frankly, I'm a Person. For our monster lineup, we're playing exclusively Flower Cardians. We have one Polonia with Phoenix, one Pine with Crane, three Willow with Calligrapher, three Polonia, three... Okay. So I'm just reading. With, as the deck profiles went on and they weren't getting very many views, I tried to make them more interesting. So there's basically like three eras of what a deck profiles. There's the ones where I just read the cards off like normally. There's the ones where I give every card a funny name because people can read it on the screen. So instead I try to make them laugh by coming up with fun nicknames for them that I would then use in the episode. And then there's the third era where I wrote songs explaining how to to uh, play the deck. Any advice for leaving the game? Don't. You'll never forgive yourself. Yeah, this is here real quick. Do I even have what a deck in the, the playlist anymore? No. Uh, let's, uh, hard leg. Altergeist. Oh yeah, that was when I split it up. Hey, the most meta competitive version of the deck. It oh yeah, and I used to make the custom sleeves. That used to be a big selling point of the channel. It is better suited to the chaotic world of online Yu-Gi-Oh! offering specific outs to just about any crazy deck you could possibly encounter. Now, if you want to see this thing in action, you'll want to check out the main What A Deck videos, link down in the description. There I'll be playing duels against random opponents and showing off how this works. 
Otherwise here I'm just going to be going card by card and explaining what everything does and why we play it. Starting off with our monster lineup, we have one Altergeist Courtney, three Altergeist Marianne, three Lilith, one Multifucker, two Silky Touch, <laughs> the Multifucker. Yeah, different names for it, but there's one part in here I remember. Nightmare Bird, Nightmare Dog, the one good Altergeist Link, and six different ways to activate Meluseek. The side deck, I'll go over in a little bit. So at its very heart, this is an Altergeist deck. If you're completely unfamiliar with them, here are the very basics. <clears throat> this is Multifaker, it's your main playmaker. If it's in your hand and you activate a trap, it summons to the field and it does a lot of crap. Pulls another Altergeist straight out of the deck, usually so quidious, it's got a quick effect. Targets two cards, one of theirs, one Geist, return them to the hand, it's a... Pretty nice. You could send Faker back, do it again next turn, and that's the main Altergeist play you gotta learn. <laughs> this rules. Yeah. You see, I think it was after this one, um, they're like, I did this, and it... And then I went back to, like, regular deck profiles for a little bit, but I noticed this one getting more attention. So that I started doing more where I like rapped and stuff. I never knew nightmares were called Troy Mares in the OCG. Yeah. That seems like a lot of work. It's better than those church raps. Let me, um, uh, let's see. What a deck profile. Get one more and then we'll go back to testing. Hard leg. Well, they just don't have the profiles. Maybe if I just do hard leg profile. Crazy. Okay, one second. Every what a deck. Hello and welcome back to What a D By the end, this is the last episode of What a Deck. I finally had a face cam and I finally had the top hat. Hello and welcome to What a Deck, the <laughs> most bird brained Yu Gi Oh show. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today. We're playing KFC, that Konami fried chicken, also known as Neftis Advantage. Brought to you <laughs> by Patreon sponsor 01503. When will the show come back? Never. It's been cancelled. Oh, this is after the deck profiles were cancelled. Um... <laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to what- Yeah, I used to change hats every time. Did I have the deck profile? Okay. <laughs> Each of Scaredy Cat, the Grey Goose, double- Nope, this ain't it. Damn it, I was hoping I could find this quickly. Why is everyone quitting Yu-Gi-Oh? Hello and welcome to- Stop. Uh, was it? Okay, this one. What a deck! What a deck got me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! after the 5Ds era, yeah. Hey, what's up, people? It's Hardleg Joe here with the profile for my Rod Dolce deck, which is really just a fairly standard Madolce OTK, but we're playing the Winged Dragon of Ra, which we can summon off of Sphere Mode. <laughs> this makes the deck about 8% less effective, but 80% more radical, which is what I'm all about. <laughs> Going over our deck list, we've got... One driver, one chicken, three balls, plus a triple move, fossa, and a pudding, says y'all. Two mess and gelato, triple lollies to boot, four switches, some jellies, and a cake's that hoop. 
triple waffle kitties and some cheese to go with it. Plus we play three lightning storms and a single mud dolce ticket. Triple double summons and a house that slaps. Three staples and two nades to round out the traps. Yeah. Oh, and we also have an extra deck, which includes Exiton Knight 2. <laughs> unironically, so unironically cringe. So cringe. Oh, I can't. I hate going back to these. But I needed to show when in Spotify. <laughs> I was just trying to do anything to make them more interesting. It was original. Yeah. I don't think I did these for every episode, but I did for many. Hey, you would be of the sacred sun seed, one big plant. Yeah, that one didn't have one. <laughs> Two fried chicken for a dollar. Hey, you Perone, three comrade Pengu. Two flippers, taste the chain. Taste the chain. Okay. Enough of that. We've been here for too long. It's time to test Memento. Are there any patrons who would like to help me test Memento? If you're a patron and you would like to do that thing, send me a message on Discord. Otherwise, we'll open it up to regular people here. Uh, let me go ahead and turn the volume on for the, the music again. I loved it. <laughs> A nice trip down memory lane. Yeah, I was trying to remember. I knew there was one deck profile song that I still liked, but most of them I was like, Ugh, uh. But that's, I had those electronic drums, so I would drum along. Weird. Why not just have a thing where you could select it? Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, pardon me. I'm a sneezer. I'm a snoozer. I'm a weezer. And I'm a loser. Okay. We got a room code. Anyone is free to come in. Patrons get first dibs. Yeah, if you will help, if you can help test, send me a message. Don't ping me. There is a difference. We'll get Frost Hollow and then Elaborate. You're up. 420 in the code? Not this time. Yeah, 288312. Yeah, Frost Hollow will be down at table 25. 25 makes me feel alive. My heart beats in a hyperdrive. Oh, I just realized, chat. We gotta decide what we're gonna do. Accessories. Fusion deck box, old school. Dark Memento. Ghost Trick Mansion. That's probably the spookiest one.
Foolish Burial. Mate can stand on the old cards. Let's go ahead and put Combined Creation. Oh, uh... Combined Creation in the center with uh, Dark Blade and Anguish. Pandemonium Field Spell could also work. Play double sleeves. <laughs> Monadium. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a memento sleeve. Put him in the sarcophagus. We're not even playing that kind. How about Rika? Yeah, I'd play Rika. It's been on the list several times. It just hasn't made it. Uh, there is. We just got the Gaddick one. I wish there was some way to sort these by name, maybe. Icon frame. We go blue eyes for the old school. Or this. Quarter century to show the age. I think that looks best. Uh, do, do, do. What mate are we doing? Ghost Trick Lantern. Blue eyes, probably, yeah. Karibo. Oh, yeah. Bike. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite mate? I don't care about the mates. There's Frost Hollow. All right, let us begin. Bikes are like the bones of cars. What does that even mean? Blood is the lipstick of wounds. Piano. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. Howdy. I'm sorry, but I am a gamer. Fair enough. Beautiful hand. Handcrafted, you might say. I got a horse, of course. Yep, I knew it. You magnificent bastard, I read your book. Uh... Mm, ba -ba -ba.
Uh, okay. I'll end my turn. Mi amigo! Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. I did it. Of course, because they got the field spell and the friend, they get to draw like four cards. It's not enough that they gave this this deck of towers. They gave it a towers that when you out it, it gets you like plus four. Super poly, too late. I don't actually know this deck very well. for the battle phase? Yeah, I guess so. This is my horse. My horse is a failure.
69. All right, next up we've got Elaborate and then Night Sea. Yep, unfortunately, it's you get hit by three hand traps. There's not much we could do. Oh, I thought I saw them there for a second and then they left. Where'd they go? There they are. They sent me a message saying this is them on Discord. That's how I know. Knowing is half the battle, perhaps even three fourths of the battle. A significant portion of the battle involves knowing. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you snow. Hello, Showheart2001. I see you're doing a wiggle in the chat. I approve of such things. Okay, so we know how we do on the play. How do we do on the draw? Generate here with me in the stage. How you doing today? I'm a bit tired. I had a very sugary dinner and now I am beginning to crash and I'm wondering if perhaps I should try to get some kind of a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, like coffee, but it's also getting kind of late and if I drink something really caffeinated now, I may never get to sleep. And I like to sleep, I mean, who doesn't? Sleep is just, you know, taking death for a, for a trial, trial run, you know? Free trial. Experience what it's like to die. And who doesn't await the peace of the afterlife to have one's heart weighed against a feather on the scales of Nefertiti? How you been doing? I'm doing all right. I'm here. I'm dueling. I got mementos. Sleep is the cousin of death. True? Uh, let's see here. Thanks for the existential dread. You're welcome. Hmm. You good, buddy? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure things out. Okay. This is going to take a portion of my cunning. No, wait. Perhaps all of my cunning. Wait, no, this doesn't work. Uh, well, it does. It just doesn't work very well. Okay, um...
Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah, it has to be... Okay. Hmm. Every time! Dark Blade, he's neat. Oh, okay. Um... Wait, I thought I had... I had something I could activate, but oh, was it this? I should have sent two monsters. For some reason, I thought I already had enough to summon the, uh, the big guy.
horse. This is my horse. My horse is amazing. And if you're wondering why I didn't Gaddick last time, it was because that I was under Max C. Do this one and this one. <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? Banish. In berm. Banish. Joe, you're a real son of a bitch. Bye. It's time to combine our creations. Oh yeah, I can't attack. Um destroy it and if you do add one Uh no. We'll just set Um, why can't I activate this? After resolution, ah, okay. Um, 
Yeah, but what do I grab? Oh, wait, um... No, a memento has to be... Oh, if a mont... Okay, so wait. Normal summon. Activate. Destroy this. Grab another copy of this. Activate. Summon this. Pop. We can add... Ah. Oh, I already had an anguish. Focusing, sorry I can't talk. I know this isn't proper. Oh, I had enough already. I forgot 5,000 is a big number. <laughs> All right, well that, that ended up working out better than I thought, but definitely complicated. Why'd you have to make the deck so complicated? All right, Night C. Night C is up. Reminder, if you're a patron and you would like to duel, send me a private message on the patron's Discord. And then once we're through with the patrons, it'll just be open duels. Whoever wants to come in can come in. Assuming you're smart enough to locate the room code. It could be anywhere. You have to solve a very difficult ARG in order to find it. I appreciated your A. Veda? What the hell's a Veda card? The fuck? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Once per chain, if a monster is destroyed, place three counters. If this card's pendulum is scaled, it's increased by the number of counters. 
and remove 12 special summon this card. Must be special summoned by its own pendulum effect. If your opponent summons a monster from the extra deck, except during the damage step, you can banish 12 cards from your face or field. It becomes the end phase. Weird. Now it's my turn to have the maxi. Oh man. Oh nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got this. Only time will tell. It's a uh, Monadium. Monadium can combo off for a while. So if there's anyone who has any other like questions or whatever, you know, you got more political questions you wanted to ask from before but didn't have a chance to. Now we have time to discuss geopolitics. <laughs> so are you more of a Trotskyist or more of a like Marxist-Leninist with uh, Juche qualities? What is your stance on strawberry milkshake? No, sir. I don't like it. I'm a chocolate and vanilla guy. Mostly chocolate. The Trump stuff, yeah. Was taking your field spell a good game plan, you think? Uh, no, I don't think the field spell really did anything. I could have gotten back a fusion. That might have helped me, but I don't think it would have made much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. Do you have photos of you with hair by any chance? Um, not like on me. I've, I've, I did a whole bunch of, uh, I've, I've done a lot of decks where I had hair. It's hidden under a hat, but you can still see it. It was nothing special. Although when I was a teenager, I used to have really long hair. Do you think the process by which the United States built the Panama Canal was reasonable? Uh, I haven't looked in depth into it, but I feel like they like invaded Panama and like took over the government so that they could build their own canal there. So probably not. How is there an entire political party? <laughs> That's not what libertarians and also you put librarians. <laughs> Libertarians get a lot of crap because their idea, their, their ideology is stupid and it doesn't work in like the long term. And they can be some of the most insufferable people because they pretend like they're really smart while having an ideology that like doesn't stand the test of time really. That like doesn't have any long term planning thought to it. I support librarianism. But that being said, um. Libertarians at least 
like, I'd say the majority of the ones I've met generally want to be good people. They, they want to do what's best for society and for most people. And they just have a really bad idea about what they think um, is best for everyone for everyone like but they they at least have principles just in time buddy uh. I'll have to memorize these eventually Okay. Oh, hey. Um. You know what? Fuck it. Go for it. We got raided. Oh, we did. Hello, junk. Raiding with a party of 39. Welcome. You came at the end of the stream when I'm like trying to test out a new deck. Um, so I'm, I, you know, I'm tired and I'm trying to focus on things. So I'm not the most talkative, but welcome. My opponent just resolved this card that lets them banish 12 cards face down, and it becomes the end phase. Turn skip turbo. What if they had anything else? It was a, it was a good attempt. Yeah, we could have gotten rid of that, and then we would have left the other one. Veda Kalanta. What a wonderful phrase. Veda Kalanta. It means no passing days. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free monstrosity. Veda Kalanta. Dump bump bottom. If you like Veda Kalanta and getting caught in the rain, do a thing that you want to. If you have half a brain, if you'll be getting at the midnight and the sweet summer train. Nice hat. Thanks. I wore it myself. Let's find a rock. I mean a big ass rock. Or maybe something like a cinder block is better. I'll hoist it up and drop it on your face, my buddy. And just before the lights go out, you'll see my smile and you'll know you've got a friend with a rock who cares I mean a big ass rock or rope <laughs> we can rock their world yes can they come back from that I don't know maybe no can we come back from this I don't know maybe no <laughs> um
Hello. End face. It's okay, chat. We we got our bone party back. We'll just activate this. Go ahead, special summon. Bake my cake. They don't appear to be special summoning, chat. I'm worried. I don't know, I don't know what to do, chat. Maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should play more mementos? I feel like I'm playing a lot. Certainly tried. An interesting thing for sure. Uh, looks like Cyber Lotus would like to duel. Okay, we'll get Cyber Lotus in here at table 12. Yeah, they had like a, an interesting tech card. Unfortunately, I feel like, you know, anything would have killed us that game. We just had like a very bad hand. Bone Party is, like, the best card in the deck, unless you don't have any, um, mementos, and then it's the worst card in the deck. Are there any splashable engines you can put in Memento? Uh, we saw someone playing it with Horus. Someone mentioned Unchained, but they didn't have, like, a deck profile for me. This seems to be happening a lot, chat. Oh, it's okay, chat. They bricked as well. Oh! Eh. This is my horse. My horse is amazing. Wait, I can activate this? Oh, because they're both earth monsters. Uh, mm, dip, a doop, a dop, a dibble, a dibble, dibble, doop, dibble, dibble, dop. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do, chat. We're gonna send... You! And... Uh, 
And then we're going to immediately put them back. And we're not going to use the effect. We're just going to attack. Huh. That bad, eh? Yeah, we'll just end there. Creative. Yeah, I wanted to. I thought maybe they had something with it was like a floater effect or with a flip effect or something. I was like, I can banish it with this because I remembered its other effect. But no, they just said whatever. Are you still bricking? Okie dokie. Okay, boomer. Whatever you say, boomer. Okay, okay, boomer, boomer. Whatever you say, but ba boomer <laughs> Ah, I see all the maxis. That's fine. If my memento battles, you cannot activate spell traps. I will hit for 28! Uh, sure? Do I want to do that? No, actually. We'll keep that there. I love how consistent mementos can be. So far, they haven't been. Dark hole, I see. Um... But the horse came back the very next day. It said a lot of stuff, and it said, Nay! Always get creation with the fusion. It wasn't that effect. Activate. You and you and you get that gap. Uh, yeah, I guess we do this one too. Attack mode. Attack mode. <coughs> uh, yeah. Back to hand. Pop this one. We get a fusion. Yeah. And then we 
using the fusion. Grab, I guess we grab this. Uh, and in this case, yeah. Do the truffle shuffle. Let's take a peek at one of the some of those back rows are. Crush card virus. Okay, um... Anguish attack for game. What the heck was going on there, Cyber Bear? I kept waiting for the other shoe to drop. I thought, like, Nibiru was coming down. I thought maybe a uh, Imperm. I thought called by. Was it actually Mirror Force? Okay, we're on open, we're on open duels, so whoever wants to come in first can get here. Uh, I will send you my hand in the Discord PM. <laughs> ah, I see. I assume I'm good to reveal it, Cyber Bear, or do you have a very tricky uh, deck that you want to keep secret? The face down was Magic Cylinder, though. Which would have been funny if I didn't have the field spell. A field spell. Uh, 
Was it Crack the Field Turbo? Kind of. They were on Dark Worlds. And yeah, they had Gold, the, uh, the Woo Lord of Dark World, and Three Gates of Dark World. Um... Gee, Billy, how come your mom let you have three gates? Uh... It's this one, right? Yeah. No, the horse is still negated. What do you mean? It's no longer on the field. Uh, I should have gotten rid of the other one. Okay, so we get... Yeah, I've already normal summoned. Wait, I can get to this. Wait, why can't I make... Oh, do I not have Link Karibo in this deck? I guess it doesn't matter. I miscounted again. How do I keep miscounting? Mistakes were made. Link into the brains! Uh, Maxi? Okay. Good. Most good indeed. Mabento is hard to. Uh, to be fair, this is only my third duel. I always feel a little city silly at the beginning. Magical Musket Master. Oh, and then you make Max.
Question mark? Wait, what? The link summon cannot be negated and your opponent cannot activate cards. Oh, okay. I, did, I failed to read the end part of that. Uh, but I do have this. Ah, I see. Touche, touche. If you did continue the deck div challenge, what would you choose? Why did you choose Lab for the final deck? Um, because it was a competitive deck that I thought would remain competitive for the foreseeable future. And uh, it was based around spell traps, which are less likely to get destroyed by monsters. It also has a boss monster that can't be destroyed under certain conditions. So, like, I'd be safer. Safer? To Normal summon. Hello. You would cry the first time someone or I mean modern modern um what you call it? Labyrinth decks, like they're not setting five most of the time. Uh, no, I don't need to banish stuff. Oh, that would be good if I had... Oh, okay, it's fine. That is neat if I could just draw one. I watched every deck dev episode while studying for finals. Nice. Did you pass your finals? Unless this it does piercing. I don't I don't care about piercing. I really should have attacked with this one in case they had the thing. What was that? Ah. Oh, I should have set this. It's fine. Simple geometry. Punch him in the sarcophagus. Why you didn't banish the card for free? I wouldn't have been able to attack directly. And I wanted to get in the extra damage. Oh, is that... Dumok? Darmok? Happy, happy, happy.
Well, <laughs> you know, Kwamu. But it came back. Oh. Ah, but. Go, Johnny. Give him the titanium. Well, shit. Uh, they'll only control two at resolution. For some reason, I thought these effects only worked when um, a monster left. Horus is king in the grind game. Ray, the sun god. I didn't think I'd get this far. I am confused. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't want to. You can add back Bone Party. But then how do I get Gaddock back into the graveyard? I guess I could link it off with this. I'm back, but Twitch keeps crashing. Sorry to hear. But she came back. Does it not have protection? Not inherently. Question mark? Oh yeah, they can only attack this. Ah, the droplet. Don't I still have more even if they go to half attack? I'm too big! Yeah, if I have a memento, they must attack the one with the highest attack. Mathematical! A reading a moment. To be fair, I'm not exactly sure how how that works either. Okay, so while you control a memento, your monster and its monsters they can attack. Must attack the memento. Oh, okay. See, I wasn't sure if this was like if you attack, you have to attack the thing, or if it forces you to attack with every monster. And they can only attack mementos, and only the memento with the highest attack. That must, yeah. Yeah, so while you have Cranium Burst, they just have to attack the highest attack. Okay, so they couldn't clear the SP... If they can't attack, they must attack, and they must attack that one specifically. An interesting duel, for sure. Oh, we got critters in the chat. Critter, people are saying hi to you. You want to say hi to them? <laughs> He's very tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long road getting from there to here. All right, let's go to table 20. 
We'll do one or two more duels. So if they're in attack position during the battle phase, they must declare an attack. Yes. Good to know. I can see now why people prefer Cranium Burst over the other one. And if you're in attack at the end of main phase one, you must proceed to battle. You can't skip to the end phase. Interesting. Interesting. Hello. It's me. I don't like you. <laughs> Every time. Uh, do we have any kind of... Yeah, I think so. One second. So if we go for Goblin... And then we use Goblin's effect on itself. And we dump uh, Fusion and Fracture. And then I guess I gotta use Bone Party too. Uh. Uh, what do we get? Just, uh, Shiggy for next turn? Uh, let's get this for next turn. Okay, and then we activate the fusion... Grab this. Activate this. Oh, and then I don't have, I needed to, I needed to get, okay. For a second I was like, wait, wait, if I do things right, I can end with like this trap on the field and I'll at least do something. But no, I won't. Go, Valor. Oh, come on. Bone party. Maximum oversee. We're going over the sea. Um. I don't care. OTK me. Yeah, a lot of cards rely on having the big monster on the field. 
And getting to that is something that just requires me to have like, or to summon like five times. So if I get max seed, I'm just mega ultra doomed. <sighs> Trying to think, maybe I should play um, triple tech. That way, if they maxi, we can look at their hand and steal something. Or draw into more hand traps. Yeah, I'm playing a 40 card deck, and I have three Ash, two called by, and a cross out. So I have many ways to stop it. I just haven't gotten to stop it. to summon a lot just to do anything, yeah. I'm just wondering, Gamma does stop Max C, but only if I have no cards on the field. Is, is Gamma no cards on the field or no monsters on the field? Monsters. Yeah, and all the guys uh, pop for effect and not cost. All right, I think I'm going to call it for tonight. I'm unfortunately just getting too tired to really focus or keep y'all entertained. My apologies. Next month's climb is going to be rough. I don't think it's necessarily going to be rough. Who knows? Maybe they'll maybe they'll ban Snake Eyes. Or not Snake Eyes, uh, Maxi. There's always a chance. It's... A good stream. I'm glad people enjoyed it. I know it was a weird one. Wasn't exactly what you normally do. But we made it through. If you did enjoy this, uh, I'll be back again Tuesday. We stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Every month I climb the Master Duel ladder with a different deck. Last month it was Volcanics. This month it's going to... Or I guess... This month was Volcanic. Next month is going to be Memento. So if you like Memento, we'll be playing that all through June. Uh, I'll be back here Tuesday. I think I'm going to be out of town on Thursday. So we'll probably be doing a Tuesday, Wednesday stream next week. So you can, you can look forward to that. Um, if you want to see the results of the Volcanic Ladder Climb, we have edited all the best duels together into a three-hour long supercut. And that is going to be up on the YouTube channel tomorrow in less than like 12 hours i think yeah it'll be up there in like 10 hours so if you're not already following me on youtube consider checking me out uh colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash hard leg gaming there you go link in the chat you know go check that out for now i'm gonna get headed out we are far and away the biggest uh, Master Duel streamer right now. Jeez. We've got 200 viewers. Next place is 81. Maybe it's just the time or something. Uh, I'm gonna send you off to Helm Chan. Helm Chan is cool. 
They've got Frog the Jam stuff going on. The ones right inside. They're like a robot. Oh, wait, I think they're ending their stream. Shit. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck. Who else is around? There's no one I know! I don't want to check out people to see if they're any but good. Uh, Maple is playing Poker Rogue. Do you want to see some Pokemon? Pokemon stuff. There's also Birdman. He's playing like crazy Guitar Hero shit. Ah, let's just go raid Maple. Slash raid Maple. Maple underscore cha. Go say hi to Maple. Go be nice. It's Pokemon stuff. Cats in the chat. I want to see friendly faces. Uh, I will see you next week. And until then, good luck and have fun. Oh, and thank you all again for subbing and donating and stuff. I, I appreciate the dinner. It was good. Oh, I never... I, I'll let you know how the shit... I'm not even sure if I'm going to eat that shake. It's, it was pretty melty. I'll, I'll, if I do, I'll post about it later.